Guys, I want you to have a look at this picture. This was taken today. And if you're a regular viewer of my channel and you watch my 3i Atlas videos, you can see something very, very clearly. We're still seeing the ante tail. But we have heard just recently, just in the last few days, that 3i Atlas has lost its tail. These claims are wrong. It hasn't lost the anti tail and it hasn't lost the other tail. So all these dramatic news that this has suddenly vanished, it's not true. They said it's losing the tail as it's moving closer to Earth. 3i Atlas is not coming towards Earth. It's reaching the closest point to Earth in just a few days on December 19th. And we hope that we can get the best observations that we can get of 3i Atlas and to collect as many data as possible. So where do these claims come from? And guys, what is still the mystery and what is new with 3i Atlas? here in this video. So the claims come from a misunderstanding of how comet images work and how the viewing angles in space can completely fool the eye in both directions. Sometimes an anti-tail is an optical illusion, but it is not here with 3i Atlas. So let me explain this carefully and simply. Some observers looked at newer images of 3i Atlas and they said, the tail's gone. But that conclusion is incorrect. 3i Atlas did not lose its tail. It still shows the anti-tail. Anti-tail is clearly visible, especially in this last picture. And also in other pictures, when you look at the data correctly, what changed is our viewing geometry, not the object itself. And that's the interesting part. So we know normally a comet tail points away from the sun. That's because sunlight and the solar wind is pushing the dust and the gas outwards. An anti-tail is different. It appears to point towards the sun. That sounds impossible, but it is a well-known optical effect. And it happens when a comet releases dust, the dust spreads into a flat sheet, and the Earth happens to look at that sheet edge on. In that situation, the dust can appear to point towards the sun, even though it's not being pulled inward. So an anti-tail is not exotic by itself. But what is unusual here with 3i Atlas is how persistent and well-defined the anti-tail of 3i Atlas is. It's not an optical illusion. So what are the new images actually showing? So as 3i Atlas already moved closer to Earth, the angle from which we are observing it and all the hobby astronomers are observing it has changed. And that matters a lot because space is three-dimensional, guys. Do not forget that. But when we're taking these images and we look at these images, they flatten everything into two dimensions. So when the viewing angle changes, the features can look shorter, they can look fainter, or they seem to disappear entirely. But we have to stress they seem, but they're not. They seem to disappear, although they are still here. And that's exactly what has happened with 3i Atlas. The anti-tail did not vanish. It simply became harder to see because we're not viewing it from the same angle. The angle that we're viewing it is different. And why is the anti-tail still real? That's, of course, a very interesting question as it came out of perihelion, the point closest to sun. Now it's getting more away from the sun. So when you carefully look at these images and when astronomers analyze these images and then when they remove the background effects, the anti-tail is still visible. Its direction is mysteriously consistent. Its alignment makes sense. Its behavior, yes, matches expectations for a dust sheet that's viewed at changing angles. So the physics still work with the anti-tail. I've just reported where the physics do not work at all. That's this mysterious slow gas that now turned green. Watch the video in the end screen, by the way. And since we're talking about that, please, guys, could you give this video an early like and press that hype button? That would help my channel a lot. Thank you so much. So dust 
yeah the dust that we have here that has created this anti-tail it does not instantly vanish right tail on tail off no gas does not suddenly shut off without evidence and no such shutdown is observed here at 3i atlas people misinterpreted the data there's two main reasons first some images are taken with different filters. Certain filters emphasize dust, others emphasize gas. So if you compare images incorrectly, you can fool yourself. The second reason is people often forget that brightness does not equal presence. So a feature can still exist while becoming harder to detect. That does not mean it's gone, right? So what has really changed? as 3i Atlas is approaching Earth. Well, the only real change is from our perspective. Our perspective has shifted. As the Earth, as 3i Atlas and as the Sun are moving, their geometry changes constantly. This alters the contrast, the apparent length and the brightness distribution, but the underlying structure remains. Why does this matter for 3i Atlas? Well, 3i Atlas is already very unusual with roughly 15 anomalies that have been recorded. I have made videos all about that. So in the end screen, I'll put a playlist, a 3i Atlas. If you click that, you see all the videos with all that information. Very, very valuable. So it's unusual for many reasons. It's interstellar. It's definitely alien. It's from another star system. It's huge. It's so bright, unnaturally bright. And the slow gas, it's the latest mystery. And also the chemical evolution. I've made a video about it. There's cyanide on it, right? So it's important for us that we do not add false mysteries. So the tail's not gone. That's not a new mystery. We have enough real ones, right? We don't need false ones on top of those. So if we say it lost its tail, it just creates confusion where no confusion should exist. And that means nothing suggests sudden activity shutdown at 3i Atlas. Nothing indicates anything strange happening in the last few days with 3i Atlas's anti-tail. And, and in, in general, in astronomy, what you see depends heavily on from where um, you're looking from, where you are. So it's going to be super interesting to wait and see when the data come in from December 19th. It looks like we're having a very favorable situation. There will be not any, there won't be moonlight disturbing any potential views and images. So that's really good. And uh, well, I can't wait. And Harvard professor Avi Loeb always says, December 19th could be the key data where we could maybe tell whether this thing is natural or whether it's maybe not natural. Because we haven't seen any explanations from NASA yet for all these anomalies. Nobody tries to explain them. They always say, no, no, it's a natural comet, but they don't tell us why. They don't tell us why. What about this? What about that anomaly? Can you explain that? We will have to wait and see, guys. Thankfully, on December 19th, there will be so many astronomers out there taking pictures. So we do not rely on the big institutions. And that's really great. So we will definitely get images. I can't wait and I hope you can too. So subscribe, guys, and click the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. And if you want to support the channel, buy me a coffee. Link is in the description. Thank you so much, guys. I see you here in a second if you click there. Bye-bye.